Hello and welcome. Now today is the last part with regards to the construction and debugging of this project. I'm yet to film a final demonstration video of the Sid Boombugs and all it can do. So that will be an exciting upcoming video. Also some updates on me and everything else. You've probably noticed my absence here on the channel lately and that is due to ill health, which I've been facing for the past month, both physical and mental. And no, it's not coronavirus. I found it amusing when a complete stranger online suggested that I probably have coronavirus without any medical qualifications, nor examination, nor knowing my situation. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> the hysterics around this coronavirus has become crazy lately and it's a little unsettling to see. I do wish a quick recovery for those who have been affected However, my health issues are totally unrelated and I'm working through them. Also, I would like to thank those of you for your birthday wishes on my Facebook page. They were so touching and warmed my day up. Despite the health issues, I still feel I should share something. I feel held back by it and I'm itching to get my energy back because I've got a lot to show you all. A few exciting things including new retro computer systems and add-ons, not to mention progressing with the Sidbox project itself. So there's lots of exciting things to come. I also wanted to thank you all properly for your lovely birthday wishes. Oh my god, I'm so close to having this completed. <laughs> it's just a few more little things here and there. So okay, do you want do you want I'm I'm telling you to actually no. I was gonna install the speakers, but I'll do the LEDs here first before installing the speakers. Um, LEDs are just gonna be to do with the power, so it's like battery power versus you know a button here for reset, and also I'm gonna get some milliput out and make a stand for this thing for this counter. Let's get started. The LEDs up first, which is oh, sarsaparilla tablet. So I must have one. Why not? I earned it. <laughs> <laughs> done, really put us all set and dried. I've put the actual tweeters in here. There was no way to mount them. I just, just could not find a way to mount them so I decided to just you know make uh, a mount with uh, milliput itself so and then just like put them on top. So they should be fine. The holes I'm using the microphone holes unfortunately I cannot you know there's no other no more holes to make here. Uh, so you know, the tweeters are gonna be <laughs> a little bit constrained, but you know, at least there's some tweeters there. So today is just gonna be the wiring of the speakers. Uh, I've got my speakers here, which I'm gonna put in here into this, and then wire them up with the tweeters, and I think that's it. I've also given the um, the actual bezel, the front uh, window the actual trim of it. I've painted that too because before it was really just flaking off. There was no way uh, that it could... it just looked scruffy as freak. I need to get... you know, there's a little bit of cloudiness and stuff which I need to, you know, slightly get rid of. 
if I can. There's some scratches here which I cannot do much about, unfortunately, but... Yeah. Okay, so a couple of hours later, I've had to build a mono single stage amplifier for the spectrum analyzer circuit, which I totally forgot about. The spectrum analyzer, which is within the sitbox itself, which Wayne had programmed, uh, it needs a bit of a higher signal, so... Oh, that's tied in with the Amiga sampler, by the way. So yeah, that needs a higher signal than what the part which I'm taking the audio from is getting. Uh, basically, the even the aux in will, you know, I can... You, the analyzer, will react to the aux in as well as the... not just the sit box, so, you know, that's, that's a positive. Just when I think I'm almost done, <laughs> this has another thing to do. Now, I hopefully... I think all I need to do now is just the speakers and more or less, yeah, I'm done. Let's just see if anything else creeps up. <laughs> I thought I was done before too. <laughs> just let's get the speakers and finally install them. I wasn't installing the speakers all this time just in case, you know, uh, they are delicate there. I don't want them to get ruptured or anything like this. I'm actually looking forward to listening to this um, via... I'm, I haven't heard what this sounds like in the actual boombox or the ghetto blaster, whatever you want to call it. I haven't actually heard it yet, so I'm really excited about hearing these speakers, to be honest. Okay, I don't think anything else needs to be connected other than these three. Everything else already is that needed to be connected, so... Oh no, I sorry, actually... My bad. The, um... SD card... extender that needs to be connected. Darn it, I need a stupid adapter for this. Thanks for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. For now, I will say adios. I wish to say a big thank you to all my patrons, especially my top tier patrons. Electronscape, Axel Dominator, Rich Carboot, Aaron Metcalf, Camel Tech, and Chris Sevelinski.